<laughs> yeah. And there's a red button down there, but the red button is not record. The red button is hang up the phone call. Yeah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So I it's think we're right. recording I'll... now. Yeah, it's dead. Jason's okay. recording this call. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Critters for Dinner. I'm Patton. I'm Jason. Patton, what's for dinner tonight? We're having Canadian Cobra chicken. <laughs> <laughs> As in the geese variety? Yeah, it's in the geese variety, I guess. But then, you know, you ever seen a cobra chicken? They'll chase you and, and they, they get you, they goose you, I guess. Wow! And I got chased and I almost got bit while, by one on my butt when we were, when yeah. I was little, was at the lake. And this, this fucker was mad. I don't know what he was mad at, but he was mad. And he was mad at me. And like, I ran from him. I've run from an angry rooster before, but that was my first time ever running from an angry goose or a cobra yeah. chicken as we like to call them. So we're just going to fry that bastard up and show him who's who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was mowing yard about two or three years ago for an older lady at church, and um, a Canadian goose had laid some eggs like in like a little flower garden thing that she had set up, and it would not let me get close. Anytime I came close, the goose would just come after me. Yeah, it's oh, not yeah. fun. The Those things are hostility. terrifying. They yeah. got a lot of hostility. It's like, what? I don't must, or did it, I don't must, I'd almost rather fight like a mean dog than a mean goose. Yeah, they got longer neck. That's why they call them cobras, because they got that long neck. They just wrap around and spot your weenie off. Yeah, right out chicken. there. Just dip you the low hanging parts real quick. <laughs> <laughs> got to be careful. Um, so what do we got trending on the X? What is trending? All right, so far, well, I didn't see a lot this morning. And then as I started scrolling this afternoon, RFK, you know, RFK <laughs> is up. He's running for president of the United States. <laughs> He's hard to listen to. He's hard, real hard to listen to. It's just, ooh, can you imagine him, like, State of the Union? <laughs> and it's, it's like everybody's adjusting their screens because they think it's glitching. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh-uh. Well, he was on, he was on, uh, you know, Joe Rogan for like, you know, three hours and about an hour and a half into it. It's like, okay, now I can hear him. It took an hour mm-hmm. just to kind of hear him, you know, to tune in. You adjust but, uh, to it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It took an hour, but eventually when you adjust, it's like, okay, I can understand him. But yeah. um, man, it's rough. But honestly, it's still better than Biden. It is. However, I think the reason people are like memeing him so hard, what's going on is, his movie, Who is Bobby Kennedy? I think we all kind of know who Bobby Kennedy is. We kind of know he liked that booger sugar. We kind of know he <laughs> liked that hair on. I think they call it horse in the streets. They call it horse. But yeah, he used to be a pretty bad drug addict. And I don't know what took his voice. Actually, I think that's like, what do you call it? It's like in the family. You ever heard of sister talk? It's like sister a chihuahua. Talk? Yeah, his sister, his sister, they all made this commercial, like, talk about they're going to vote for Joe Biden and not him. Or it's his sister or his aunt. I'm not sure which one. Some blonde lady. And she gets up there and she's like, we are all voting for (laughs) Joe Biden. You know, and it was like, oh, God, if you you think he's bad, she's worse. I'm telling you worse. But everybody already knows who he is. Put the movie out. And they made they made I like big butts video about rfk because a little while back he had commented on this woman's instagram she had this big oh, I saw that. booty yeah yeah, yeah. i saw that yeah so, so they put his head on uh the sir mix a lot and i like this but it is great <laughs> i mean that's for the daily meme team daily meme team what? is all that shit <laughs> i think the story was, if I remember right, like some intern was running that account and he had liked it wasn't RFK that actually liked that picture. It said it said wow. Yeah, it went yeah. dark. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, honestly, if he would have just owned it, if he said, Yeah, yeah, I said wow, look at that. You know what? Look People would have respected yeah. it. People would have respected right. it. Yep. Yeah. Like Trump said, grab him by the wussy. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't deny it. He said it was locker room talk. And it is. Boys will be boys. They like yeah. asses. But he's trying to deny it. It just made him look bad. And it plus, he, oh, yeah. he takes all these stances like, you want to like what he's saying. A lot of stuff I do agree with. Like, he's yeah. pretty good with some of the things. 
And then he comes out with the, you know, late term abortions and he's not yeah. saying that it's bad. And that's just rotten. Yeah. That's, you're a baby killer but at this point. Gross. The two things that is tough with him is the abortion issue and the gun issue. Mm-hmm. And I just, I mean, I'm not a single issue voter, but those are two things that I just can't. Those are like, you, I just can't get past. It's disgusting. And, you know, yeah. I heard my tinfoil hat that they take those poor little babies and they take like the umbilical cord stuff and they they want it. That's what they want it for. It's like they are OK with these late term abortions because they're using that to make like face cream. And, yeah. you know, helping, I mean, helping people with cancer is one thing. But it's like this is just for medical from the whatever you call it, big pharma. It's gross. It's yeah. so gross. And people oh, who do know, it, women who do that, uh uh-uh. uh. It's a death cult. Yeah. We're living in a death cult. And anybody who supports abortion supports the death cult. Yeah. Especially, I mean, because, like, I'm, I'm one of those people who say, uh, to a certain point, okay, if a woman gets raped or a little girl gets raped, you know, and you live in a state, they're not going to deny her an abortion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, if your baby is going to come out and it's going to die anyway. I feel like maybe an early term abortion. I'm not sure because it's just all medical. But at some point, you know, you've been pregnant for a long time and yeah. you just getting one because you don't want that baby anymore. How sick of a person are you? That's disgusting. Right. If it's a convenience abortion, I have no sympathy for. It. But me either. I will say, yeah, I will say there are extreme circumstances that I do feel for the mother and yes. impossible choices that families have to make. And I'm not telling you it's correct. I'm telling yeah. you it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. So, and it's very it personal. Is. Yeah. It's personal. So but so the women who have to make that horrible decision, because any mama, any real mother would ever tell yeah. you in a million years they would never, ever yeah. do that. But, yeah, it, it's so the people who actually have to have it in that situation, they're not out here yelling about women's rights. They didn't want to right. have to do that. It was life or death situation. And like, I don't, he, oh, he keeps trying to avoid it and do the whole politician, you know, shuffle around that question. And guns, I'm pro gun. I'm from Alabama, y'all. We shoot you, you come in our house, okay? No, <laughs> don't do this. Like, yeah. So I understand everybody not liking him. I'm pro Trump, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we all are. Honestly, I think most of the country is. And I think the media and the polls and the networking, they all poop on They're it. They're lying. Oh, gosh. They God, that's, you yeah. Just, yeah, you just mentioned that. And as soon as, like, right before you called me, I was looking at the trending. And they were, like, two different polls on MS, MSNBC, uh, you know, M- what the hell the fake news network. Anyway, yeah, yeah. say that Joe Biden's up, like, five points. No, Come on. No. Come on. No. What? He's up five points on next to shit himself? Okay. I believe that yeah. one. He he might God. be up five points among suburban white women. No, they're pulling the Hillary. You remember that? Like when Hillary was, <laughs> uh, you know, going against Trump. And it's like all these people were so surprised. Oh, no. He won. Oh, no. It's like y'all stupid because you still ain't realized that those people on TV were lying to you because they thought yeah. masses. They thought if a bunch of people will believe what we're saying, then other people will want to go along, I guess, with the click. So more right. people will just go vote, you know, for Hillary Clinton. So they're pulling the Hillary Clinton on us. And we're right. not dumb. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that a lot of these people who thought that Biden was good and all that, and the old Hillary people, I hope they're going, okay, we're not stupid anymore also. You know? Right, right. You can't, you, what did you say about chili? You can't. <laughs> Don't dookie in my chili and call it bean soup. <laughs> <laughs> That was inspired by some um, some uh, products that altered my mental capacities at the at the time. But I think it's a hilarious statement. <laughs> it is a hilarious statement. It's perfect in a Joe Biden statement. You know, it's like yes. you watch if you watch the fake news, that's like poop, somebody pooping in your chili, and you believe in them. <laughs> that is being <laughs> soup. No, that's what the government does to us. They dookie in our chili, and they say, <laughs> "Eat your bean soup." That's what the government does. And we it's say, yes, may I please have some more? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, may I please have another? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Government. Please, may I have some more? 
Peace, man. There's some more. <laughs> a little chili. Want more chili? <laughs> oh my god! And it's like, it's like Hillary is holding the bowl for the more chili, and Joe Biden is giving her the beans. <laughs> yes, that needs to be a meme right there. That That's right funny. there it does. Okay, dude. How do people find you on the X? Okay, y'all are going to find me at General Patton 83 on X. There's a link yeah. in my bio that'll take you to YouTube. And all of our Critters for Dinner shows, all our past episodes are on there. Y'all remember to go like, share, and give us a good comment if you want to. If you don't like us, just, just scroll on. I don't care if you don't like me. Just, <laughs> I don't want to have to hear it out of your mouth. God, I hate those people. I do, I do. It's like, if you don't like it, I don't care. That's not going to bother me. Just don't go under my comments and talk stupid crap and make me hurt your feelings, because I will. Anyway, <laughs> how they find you, Jason? I am Bigfoot, B-I-G-G-F-0-0-T on the X. And uh, that's the best way to connect with me. I try my best to interact with people. But sometimes, I mean, and you know, I know you know this too. Sometimes like, your notification is so stacked, it's hard to to figure out everything at least yeah. it is for me so it's like if if ever you feel like you're being ignored you're not being ignored you're just, we're just not seeing your stuff that's right i mean we'll get back to you as soon as we can um the best way to support the show jason yes well yeah so on Patton's page um currently the best way to support the show is to tip on her page and that is going towards efforts to uh maximize what we're able to do and um, we do have a goal set out there. Uh, it's about $2,000. And once we reach that $2,000, it actually is going to be able to open up our show to like a whole new market. Um, there's a lot we're of moving getting, parts. Yeah, yeah there's a lot, of, a lot of, of parts with that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the table and there's a lot of stuff we need to do. Um, but like I said, I mean, basically $2,000. We're not asking for money. We're just saying if you enjoy the show, throw a tip towards Patton. And uh, we're going to use that to maximize what we're doing. And the goal is, you know, two or three years from now that we have a show that is as big as any other show out there. And I think we yeah, we're going to. I really do. Yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll show our faces. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get to well, see these ugly mugs. You'll get to see yeah. these ugly mugs. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're working on. We're trying to work towards that direction. But uh, there's a lot, of, yeah. like I said, a lot of moving parts. But we'll get we'll get there eventually. We will. So. Okay, we got the well, face. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have to sometimes say the face hard. the face up. Uh, yeah, sometimes listen, sometimes life is difficult. It is, Jason. Have you noticed this? <laughs> I have. <laughs> and what happens when life is difficult? What do you do? What is your secret for difficult times? I pull on a George Michael. <laughs> and I gotta have to face the face the face the uh. <laughs> You ask, you ask sweet little Jesus, how many pounds did he weigh? <laughs> You're tiny baby Jesus, eight pounds, seven ounces, don't even know a word. <laughs> <laughs> he knows best, don't he? <laughs> little tiny, eight pounds, baby Jesus. <laughs> okay, end the show. Say goodnight, Patton. Goodnight, Patton. Bye, y'all. Bye, Jason. See ya. Tell your mom and them. <laughs>